How are we guys? Now I know a lot of you will be here just to see what's going on with this inverter and I don't recommend that you do what I did with this battery if you're interested in finding out how I built that battery <laughs> there's plenty of videos on what happened to those cells and I'll leave a link in the video for you but for now we're going to punish this inverter there's no real need to do this but it's just for our own entertainment just to see what this inverter can do now based off other people's reviews on the other inverters I've heard these things can actually take a good punishing so let's give it a shot eh and see what they're capable of first off we're not mucking around we're going straight to the wallpaper steamer it's a industrial wallpaper steamer it's one that I use to take tint off vehicles basically it can pull 2180 watts straight off the bat and we'll probably stick a heat gun straight on it as well now when you're hooking up inverters just remember you need to use some form of soft start or some people will just whack the cables on like I used to but I luckily with this battery have this so I can just connect these two wires and the BMS will turn this on. So I'm gonna do that and we'll get this video happening. And for those of you who've been hanging around, yet again, this battery, <laughs> almost exactly measured itself through that BMS, which is quite amazing. So we pulled 267 amp hours out of it last time. Let's see what we can do today, hey? Boom. All right, what's the standby current, hey? Eh? That's actually shockingly good. Dancing between 0.98 and 114. That's really good. As I was saying before, no mucking around. Straight to the steamer plugs in. <laughs> Let's see. 168 amps straight off the bat. You can hear that steaming up. Don't know if I like how the power points are upside down, but anyway. Let's see. Low voltage already. Mm, might have to find something else to do that. Come on. Let's see. Yep, it's turned itself back on. Hmm, what else can I use? So I'm now running the garage lights which is part of what I'm going to use this inverter for. Running them off the extension lead. So we're now pulling 180 amps, no problems. So that's quite a bit. If you're interested, if anyone's interested in the video of building that battery, there are plenty of other videos on this channel of what I'm going to do with this inverter. I'm basically going to do an off-grid system inside the garage. That off-grid system in the garage is going to power the lights in here. This steamer when I need it to. The heat gun as well for when I'm tinting cars basically. Here we go, fans kicked in. That's good. Don't know if you can hear that but it's a boy. Well, I'm going to let the battery get down to 80% and I'm going to say that this test is probably more than enough than what I need to do. And tomorrow, what I might do is try and get exactly, you know, 2,800 watts and try 
a sustained load at 2800 watts. Not too sure what I'm going to hook up yet, but uh, we'll come back to this test tomorrow and see what we can do, eh? Good morning everyone. It's a new day. It's Monday in fact, and I've got this discovery here to tint. So, I need to turn the lights on. Come in here. Inverters on. Pulling about 11 amps. Oh well, I'll get stuck into this car, finish this car, and then we'll see what percentage we're on. We're on 83% at the moment. So time got away from me a little bit, I was trying to find the template for tinting this vehicle and uh, yeah, it took ages trying to find it. But Discovery's tinted, came up nice, nice bat poo there, but yeah, came up very good. Now the battery obviously isn't using too much, or well, the inverter's not using too much, it's only using 11 amps. So now we're going to find some things to get this thing to pull around 250 amps as much as possible. I want to get nearly 3000 watts, so see what we can find, eh? Alright, I found my other heat gun which has variable control on it. So I should be able to vary the current coming out and we're using the steamer again today. 173 amps, so I'll turn this heat gun on. It's right low at the moment, 237 amps, I think that's probably as close as I'll get it, I think. 241 amps, uh, 244, 245, Let's see how this goes, we'll leave it at this for a bit. It's now 12.05, so let's see how long we can run it at max. The amps drawn are very jumpy at the moment. I'm wondering if the potentiometer in the heat gun may be a little bit stuffed because I've used it a million for a million years that heat gun. As you can see there we're pulling 3059 watts every now and again. It's bouncing around all over the place. Good test for the uh, VMS as well because this is its max rated current continuous. I'm an idiot. I put the steamer towards myself. <laughs> at least the wind's blowing the steam away at the moment. Amps are still very varied. may just let it keep going until the inverter cuts out but 
as you can see it's still I don't know if that's focusing well enough but it's jumping around from 3058 watts it's a little bit over pretty much so a little bit over 3000 watts it's pushing out I'm doing it with ease I don't know guys I think that King's inverter is definitely what it's cracked up to be from what I've heard they actually built a decent unit and it's pure sine wave as you've seen in one of my previous videos it runs the laptop charges no problem, it runs all the little, the little stuff you want to run. I rate it. The only thing I could say about it is it's got a bit noisy fans, as can be, be expected on a ch cheaper unit, but I dare say you could swap them out, find fans exactly the same size and find some silent ones. Plenty of stuff like that on AliExpress and eBay. This is just, it's not even struggling, it's not even bothering it. I don't even think it's bothering my swollen cell battery there. I didn't even put the other two batteries in parallel with it. 3,091 watts I just saw for a second there. I'll let this focus. But it's consistently over 3,000 watts it's pushing out. That's also a testament to Mueller Energy 250 amp BMS because it's doing this with ease and it's been doing it for over 10 minutes so far. I'll keep monitoring it. If anything changes, I will put it in the video, but if not, thanks again for watching, guys. All right, this is as far as I am willing to let this test go. A little bit frightened. <laughs> the battery's up at around 68 degrees. We've been running for just uh, nearly 30 minutes, flat out. I'm just starting to get a bit of heat in the BMS. I can feel it up here, getting a bit warm. But the inverter proved itself hands down. It's doing this with ease, there's no heat whatsoever. The fans are adequate. Just a bit noisy, to be honest. A little bit noisy. Um, I'm quite stoked with that result. As you can see, still pushing just over 3,000 watts. Easy done. Too bad, 192 watts straight out of the box. Not bad at all.